What's up, pay to play community? I just got this email as soon as I got done making the other video I just posted, but I thought it would be important to share this with you guys as well. The pre sale approaching for the Legends Reborn, which is a game on Gala Games. Gala Games is doing a great job. Gala Games is really holding the fort down for play to earn gaming. It really is undervalued as well, and I think there's a lot of potential for this. Here's some of the games that they're coming out with. We can see that this game isn't even announced yet. So I'm just giving you a heads up on the fact that they're doing something big. Alright, check it out. Here's a little sneak peek at the Gala Games Legends Reborn. This was just posted today as well. So this is what gives me the impression that it's not just a card game. There's there's 3D models of each of the cards standing up. Maybe they'll fight. How crazy would that be if it was like an Alluvium Auto Battler? And they just totally stole some sh <laughs> some shine and glory from Alluvium. Cause that's that's what it could be. It could it looks like they're on a board here, this side and this side, and it looks like they're just gonna be, you know, duking it out. That's uh, absolutely epic. I'm actually super pumped for this one. This is a high quality project right here. Definitely looking at getting into this. There's six rarities uh, that we're gonna be looking at trying to get. I'm definitely going to be getting into it. So here we got a quick medium we can go through. And I'll leave all these links in the description as well. So it seem, it's going to probably be... It's, it's going to be a strategic card game, I believe. But I don't know. I just had uh, a quick little sneak peek right here. That's why I think it's a card game. But then that makes me think that it could be mixed in with some kind of 3d graphics as well but we got battle to earn own the arena so here's the key part so here in battle to earn players will receive rewards for various feats accomplished in battles versus other players each day in the form of the legends reborn native token which will be unveiled soon so there we go we we know that they're gonna have a token we can earn it in game here so here's something cool is that you can own your own venue. So the venue owner game. You can own venues in this and venues will not simply collect rewards based on the fact that they own a venue but are required to do a level of upkeep to maintain their venue. Venues will be customizable by the owners on several levels in both anesthetics and gameplay. If you're wanting to know more about it, they're going to have upcoming AMAs, and here are the times for them. The pre-sale is next week. So the first pre-sale for Legends Reborn will begin next week on Wednesday the 26th. In this sale, a limited number of venues will be available in six different rarities. More details will be released as the day approaches. But to learn the exact time of the sale as early as possible be sure to sign up at and we're going to go to the game right here here we can see the website and this is where you can sign up at again all these links will be in the description hard strategy in development pc the developer all very transparent on gala games discord as well so we got a key feature here the more you win the greater your potential to earn daily rewards is gather a horde of creatures that will strike envy into the hearts of the ancient dragons. Then combine creatures and heroes in precise combinations to build a deck that will lead you to victory. Now do you think, is this going to replace uh, Gods Unchained? Because they already have a pretty good card game. And they're on Immutable X, which is a great, great blockchain. So they're going up against competition already. That's something you should take into consideration when you're thinking about getting into this. So it says compete and defeat, take on opponents in real time card battles of wit and will. Definitely a strategy game involved. Own and be known. By owning battle venues, you will open up to the potential to earn additional rewards for each match within your venue. That's a different feature that Gods Unchained does not have. But yeah, you can stay up to date on the latest and greatest with this. Um, I'm going to be keeping you up to date on it as well and everything that's going on with Gala Games. 
Gala Games is a beautiful, beautiful ecosystem. And if any of you are not in it yet, I I would totally recommend you getting into this. Right now I'm in Mirandus, Houndstar. But I haven't really looked into any of these other ones. I did look at Legacy for a little bit. But the land was kind of ridiculously expensive. And it's not that appealing to me. But it's still on the Gala network, so everybody's going to be gravitating to this once everything starts really taking off. So it says each card is going to contribute a different element, allowing you to create endless combinations of battle decks. That's what I'm thinking. I, I enjoy playing card games, but then if they give out like a, you know, like if you ever seen um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Where they throw the card out and the card just comes alive and they battle it out. That's what I'm thinking is going on here. I'm thinking that... I'm thinking as soon as they throw that card out, it's going to pop up on that deck like that. And we're going in there. We're battling it out. So here's uh, rewards will be distributed daily rather than each after each battle. Making it much easier to manage your incoming treasure. Daily rewards will have to be claimed... So be sure to return to the battlefield each day to avoid missing out. So they're going to have daily rewards. Which is, is a good thing to keep people coming back, I guess. And uh, keeps the economy stable over time. Alright, so the first pre-sale is coming out tomorrow. If you guys want to hop on this, let me know what you guys are thinking. I'm probably going to be definitely checking these out. Hopefully the cards or packs are not just insanely expensive because that's what Gala Games is also known for is, is all their pre-sales are just freaking ridiculously expensive. It doesn't matter what game you're playing, you're going to be paying over 100 bucks just to play it for sure. I am also looking at Fortified. Here's a little leak of what Fortified is going to look like and it definitely doesn't look like the the same tower defense game that we were seeing when it first launched has definitely changed a whole lot but hey that's that's not too bad because i remember the first time seeing fortified it looked just like a basic tower defense now it's looking it's looking beautiful look at that 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 looks epic right there so this game i'm looking to get in as well for sure i want to be looking at this I don't know if uh, any of you guys are interested in any of these other games. Let me know if you guys are interested in any other games. See if I can't stay up to date and follow them. But I'm definitely looking to play in some of these MMORPGs. Hopefully these two turn out to be exceptionally well as well. Last Expedition and Echoes of Empire. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around and watching this video. Let me know what you guys are thinking, what your plans are. Uh, I'll be keeping you up to date on what I'm doing, and we can go over some strategies maybe in the Discord. I'll be a part of a growing Discord community. We'd love to see you there.